learning all the metric stuff. I came in as account coordinator from a full production ad agency, and I was not very familiar with the digital marketing world. And I came in and I just asked a bunch of questions, and I think getting a better understanding of how it all works uh, definitely is probably my biggest accomplishment. Positioning myself as a point of contact so that Anybody who needs help or asks a question, uh, it's pretty pretty common knowledge that uh, I'm always willing to go out of my way to provide assistance. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm most proud of. I think my greatest accomplishment has definitely been just how much I've learned. Um, I've been doing a lot of like mentoring of my coworkers, so I'm really developing a lot of different skills that I haven't experienced at any other job I've had. Really just flexing my skills when it comes to meeting new people on the phone basically every single day. Uh, it's really just getting to talk to people that um, are on the, on the other side of the whole ads and sales process and getting to build a relationship with them quickly. As of right now, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the path to hit my quota. Uh, I think they were a little aggressive at the beginning, but I, rightfully so, it's a new program launching off. Uh, so we needed to go ahead and show that we're, we're qualified and that this is a good choice coming to uh, Mark Star to go ahead and get their gains. You might not hit quota first, first time you're here, first quarter, second quarter, but we'll make sure you get there. And I promise you will. The biggest thing to take into consideration is really the value of the product and the value of Reddit. Uh, because a lot of advertisers are everywhere else, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, but not a lot of advertisers are on Reddit. And there's a very large, unique audience uh, on Reddit that just can't be found anywhere else. And so you can have confidence that you can pitch large budgets and uh, have confidence that they'll land uh, and that you'll be driving value for your advertisers. Yeah, so our quotas are, are definitely aggressive for the most part. Whenever you're, you know, you're not hitting your goals and everything, we just come together as a team you know finding ways to you know get advertisers to spend more or you know just in general and how we can just improve the performance of our advertisers Jordan Barbadillo is is one who amplifies the leadership uh, six. Originally, I interviewed with him. I worked with him at um, AdRoll Direct. So he just really, you know, made me feel included and, and kind of never gave up. Not having as much work experience as, you know, some of my coworkers, I kind of had to learn more than others. So um, he really, really amplifies that that leadership. Speaking on all in every day, uh, part of the thing that I love about the Reddit team is that they're very sort of competitive, but in a very healthy, fun way. Uh, the Reddit team always gets jealous when someone is talking to like a really big account or someone that is cooking up a really fun, bigger campaign. Um, and I think that the whole Reddit team's really good thing is that they, they never take that in a negative way. And it creates a very healthy, competitive environment where everyone is just trying to do their best and think of new and creative ways to get the best out of their campaigns and themselves. Always ask questions if you don't know. Uh, and I pride myself on being that person. I'll ask the dumbest questions, I'll ask the really good questions, but always ask something, if you don't know it, to know it. I'd rather have you like ask questions to succeed than, you know, die in silence. Not being ashamed or afraid of, uh, you know, being energetic and being positive uh, is definitely one of the best uh, points of advice that I've ever received. I think the best advice I've ever received is probably just to always be yourself. I was always like very technical on the call. I was very like, oh, I, I have these certain things I need to hit. And those calls went fine because I hit, I checked all the boxes and everything. But as I've become more myself and more personable, uh, it just feels much more natural. I'm having conversations with people as opposed to ticking these boxes. Man, slowing down talking. I speak so fast. <laughs> I mean, holy, yeah, that's like that's, that's a huge skill you need to learn. So, uh, taking a couple of breaths before uh, realizing I do know the answers, I don't need to spit them out like as soon as possible. Um, just slowing down speech. So, that's the biggest one for me. My pitching, I've been doing you know the same thing over and over again. So, um, trying to, you know, critically think differently with each client. I started, you know, do the same thing every day and that just happens, you know, in any job when you really start to get in the groove of it. So just not acting like a robot all the time, just, you know, being a human and as well as just connecting with my advertisers a little bit more. This program started in the midst of COVID. So yeah, we start all at virtually. And so the best things that we can do is hang out at a park, uh, play frisbee golf. Uh, we did top golf, that's a lot of fun too. So anything outside that we can kind of get together and, and kind of 
you know, hang out and, and get to know each other on a personal level. When the team was still very new, we went over to Dax's house. He has a uh, smoker and he smoked some brisket for us. And it was really just hanging out and eating meat, <laughs> which was very cool. And it was delicious uh, and also inspired me to buy my own smoker. So um, that, uh, you know, definitely is just like something low key, very small, but uh, you know, is a, a good bonding moment for the team. We try and like organize at least once a month to like go out to lunch somewhere or something just to get to know each other, uh, especially since we don't get office time. Um, no one in our office has ever worked together because the Reddit team literally started last summer. It's kind of funny that that's unique um, right now because of the times, but what my team really is trying to do is just, is just meet each other and understand who each other is as a human instead of just as a coworker. Awesome exclamation point, mic drop, let's get out. <laughs> this team, uh, we're, we're different, we're built different. We're gonna help you out no matter what. I don't care what it is. It's a dumb question, it's a good question. You need help on a client, we're gonna help you out. And that's why they're awesome. Dynamic, uh, mostly because, you know, we started the program back in July and a lot of things have changed. Even speaking to the Reddit internal team, uh, their sales team had only really started to become established in March of last year. So with that, there's been a lot of change on how to do things and the client has become really leaned in in helping us to become successful and they use a lot of what we uh, reach out to them and, and what we request. So, um, you know, dynamic is definitely the way that I would use to describe, uh, you know, starting with kind of nothing and then uh, making a successful team and a successful program. Collaborative. Um, we all work really well together and like everyone's just constantly learning new things. If it's down to you, you know a new process or just if someone's having an issue with a certain client, we all like go in our Slack channels and just collaborate and figure out how to solve that issue in the best way possible. Yeah, they're fun, they're smart, they're competitive and they're helpful. So four words, I broke the rules. <laughs> Have fun, like we're a fun group. Uh, the advice is just come in willing to learn, willing to uh, progress. Uh, we're here to make sure you grow in your career path. So uh, just come in here willing to ask questions again like that one and, uh, and you'll be just fine. To be leaned in uh, to learning and being open to uh, to being coachable. The real thing with with Reddit, even if you come from other ad tech experiences, that Reddit is an extremely unique product and an extremely unique platform with a unique audience. You know what works on other platforms, what works on other programs, it's probably just straight up not going to work on Reddit. Definitely don't be afraid to learn new things. Uh, Reddit is you know it's blown up in the past month, so you're going to be filled with a lot of tasks and a lot of information that maybe in your previous positions, you know, it was right there handy for you. You know, it's a very small uh, ad tech world in Utah. Uh, so uh, Barb's, Jordan Barbadillo, uh, had actually reached out to me and said that he had an opportunity at Reddit with MarketStar. I really looked at it as a new opportunity to start on a new team, a new program, and use uh, all of the experience that I had learned at Pinterest and at AdRoll to uh, provide additional value to Reddit and hopefully grow the team, uh, which luckily has been a thing. So uh, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely been challenging at times but uh, you know we've got a lot of momentum moving forward uh, and you know outside of MarketStar there's not really any other organization that you can find that type of opportunity. I didn't want to join a team where I was in the same you know position for for years and years and not really having much opportunity for growth. I went I was very transparent about that in the beginning like I was like I want to grow uh, in my career so there's just room for for growth and opportunity um, which you know some employers might say they have it but I definitely have seen it um, on the Reddit team here at MarketStar. So why MarketStar is because honestly, my uh, my brother was already working here and he he loved working here. He said that they were a great company. He said that MarketStar really takes care of their employees and that it was a really it was a really good opportunity for my skill set and my personality to shine through. And then the reason I jumped over to the Reddit team is because Reddit itself is just a platform that I'm super jazzed about. I've been on Reddit for probably a decade already at this point and I just love it. And when I heard that it was a new team and that it was still within MarketStar, I just really couldn't pass up the opportunity. I just wanted to hop over here and, and make things happen on a platform that I already loved.